morning. Any woman have this? And feeling embarrassed by it when they still do. I'm gonna go to town. It looks like it's gonna rain again, but I'm gonna go. I have to sort out stuff. So I'm gonna do a quick get it with me. Good morning, my haters. You woke up again, watching me like you are dead again. And I am so you're alive. You wouldn't be able to log into the app if you are dead. But again, you wake up hating on me. And you wake up being the first person to come into my life again like you always do. I hope you're going to learn how to manage life and know that I'm not your problem. Your hatred towards me is your problem. And you should block me and have peace. morning I'm gonna go to town and it's gonna rain it's cloudy and it was raining and it's cloudy I'm gonna go Thank you. My haters who look very old and ugly because they're bleaching and they don't exercise their face and they don't eat healthy. And they're jealous of my beauty and young looking face. <laughs> Yeah, bitch, you can do what I'm showing you. You're clueless, bitch. Do you not see what I'm showing you? And lay down the skin bleaching and do what I'm showing you, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, everything mess up, bitch. Are you bleaching your ass and getting angry at me <laughs> for looking young and beautiful? Hello. 
effing lay down the cream and drink water and eat mohinga and habiscus, you effing clueless bitch. How dare you? Jealous of my beautiful skin and my young looking body. The fact that I look so young and sexy. Hello, my haters. Morning. Morning, bitches. All my haters. <laughs> People who hate will always look old and don't mind that. Exactly. And they hate that I look young and fresh every morning. Look at how I look this morning. <laughs> look at how I look this morning. I have filter, but I have very small filter, which I'm going to take off now to show you. So, the filter for my teeth is very small amount. I'll take it off. It's at 26%. I'll take it off. Zero. This is my natural teeth. They're beautiful. Filter on up. They're even more beautiful than this in real life. Okay, now I'll show you. This, the one to make you look smooth. I'll take all of the filters off. The smooth one is now at 35%. 0%. This is my natural skin. <laughs> now, let me take out the filter that make you look bright, you know, red or whatever you call it. It's 35%. Now, 0. This is my natural color. Right now, I don't have nothing apart from... Let me see the eyes and the hair. If I have anything there. Because they have filter for everything. Oh, my face mask is on my top. I was having the... Um, the face mask on when I was putting on my jumper. I'll clean it. Okay, let me show you this first. The face mask is the one I sued you. I just had it after sour. Remember the one I talked about? The um, flat seed one. Should be your best friend. Okay, guys? The flat seed gel. Are you guys making it or not? So back to the face. The shape for here is 30. I'll remove it. This is my natural face. Even sexier without it. Exactly. The eyes is uh, 38 now. 38. Look at my eye. Zero. I'm going to remove it. Zero. All gone. So this is how I look now right now. No filter. No teeth whitening. No I no nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yende ke su matar bi mo ma yok no. E mo ko ma sa la ndo ko li yo le le. Che bu le ma che tu ai. Wa ndo ko li yo le le. Che bu ma yok no. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit again for the eyes. So the eyes 100 is like this. You see 100. My eyes get bigger. I normally do like between 40 to 30, 35. Right now it's at 28. Right now it's at 40. Hello. <laughs> I'll leave it 40. So the shape here for my fat to go right now is zero. 100. <gasps> See how it's like soaking my face. Watch. <gasps> Watch how it's going to take away my face. So now I will just do it for, it's at uh, 30 now, you know, little bit. The smooth is zero now. This is my natural skin. No anything to make me smooth. No anything to make me bright, yeah? But it's little dark because I'm using the sunlight and it's cloudy. So you can't see my natural color because it's little dark. But So the smooth, I will just normally do like between 25 to 30. Right now it's 30. 28. 29 you know because my skin is already fine you see so now i'll come back to the color so the color is zero now 100 is this i like this color but 100 is too much so i'll just normally do because my skin tone is like this my skin tone is like little bit yellow um orangey you know that orangey skin tone so that's my natural skin tone then i like to use this one a little bit so right now it's at 25 you know 27 Sometimes I bring it in up to 40. Right now it's at 40, you know. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. I like to show you guys natural 
so you know you know but i'm gonna take this off when i'm going okay um i don't know i want to take it off what do you think i just put it to hold my white because today i put a little bit of glue because i'm going out that is my sister they cannot stand it that you are natural beauty i know right <laughs> I'm wearing a wall. My hair to that leg like you can wear. You can wear. They hate it that I look so cute. My haters hate it. And the more I lose weight, the more I look cute. And from now on, I'm gonna keep losing weight all the time. Because now after Ramadan, I'm gonna continue fasting. Something called intermittent fasting. I'm gonna continue doing that. Like when I wake up, I'm not going to eat until, I'll just drink water and wait until, like, um, six o'clock or something like this, or five o'clock. And I'll eat one correct meal and I'm not going to eat again. This is the flat seed mask that I told you guys, okay? That's the one because I had it on my face when I was putting on my jumper. Don't ask me why. I thought it was dry. So I wanted to put on the jumper and then went go to the toilet and rinse it and then come here and do my makeup and just go. Because I want to go before it's going to rain again. I want to do little cute um, eyes at all. I mean, simple makeup here and then here only. But yeah. And then it wasn't all dry, I guess. So it got some mess. But it's fine. It's gone now. The flat seed mask should be your best friend. If you don't know how to make it, look it up. Very, very, very extremely good. And you should eat flat seed. Whenever I break my fast, I have flat seed mixed with sea butter. Sea butter, oh my God. Mixed with chia seed. I have the... Um, for the most part during the Ramadan. At least three times a week. Not that I'm fasting and I don't eat um, healthy stuff, no. I'm still gonna try my best to have it, yeah? Fasting or no. And I advise you to do so. Even the Moringa powder. I do my best to drink it at least two, three times a week. I make it into tea and drink it, even though I'm fasting. Because when you break your fast, it's easy for you to forget the healthy stuff. When you break your fast and you just eat, 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 you're full and you don't want anything else. Also, you can drink healthy tea like Moringa. Um, no. Well, you should put Moringa there if you want, but... I normally will boil the tinkly bar and bonbon with some clove and stuff like this. And you can also make the habesco juice. But yeah, I'm not seeing you guys tapping and searing. I guess you guys not bother about healthy stuff that I'm talking about and natural beauty. You're busy um, hating on me and you're busy being jealous about how I look. Instead of listening to this thing I'm telling you, which is my uh, tip for looking like this. Instead of you listening in and taking note and supporting the video, you're going to just be jealous and angry. And even if you're going to take note, you will not tap and see the video. And then you have my karma. <laughs> you have my karma for taking my good information that I'm telling you freely because I'm nice and you're too evil to like and see about you will go and hide and do it. You want to benefit from me, but you can't benefit me one single thing. Watch how my karma going to deal with your ass. Your bitch, all my bitch haters, man or woman. Anyone that is hating on me, you are a bitch. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. My work is to save Africa save our community to be the successful community that we deserve anyone that hate my work you are a bitch doesn't matter you're a man or a woman and i don't give a f about your ass you can hate on me for all i care you only receive my karma by coming to me every day watch my video listen to me take my energy and never ever want to give me yours you're the one that is gonna collect my heart my energy my karma they're not the same. They're not the same. Like they always do whenever I'm trying to do them. Oh no. 
and I'm gonna go. I don't have time to fix this all day. I think the camera is not helping me. But I really think they're not the same. Um, I do think they're not the same. Um, oh no. I'm gonna just leave it like this, guys, because I'm gonna go. Can't be bothered. I think they're not bad, yeah. They're not bad. Right, I'm gonna go. Um, no, I'm gonna do a little bit here. Okay. Hmm. Look like it's gonna rain.
all of my enemies that re like to report my page and like to watch me and don't support me, especially the ones that do really horrible videos that I know is hypocrite, fake, bad videos and it's not good for the community or something like this, but I never report their page. I say like, that's on them. But they go reporting my reporting my page, ganging up to fight my work because I'm speaking for the truth. I will never ever forgive them. And every day I wake up, I pray for my karma to hunt them. And everything good they're doing, my, my, my karma hunt them that they will never be successful in whatever they're doing. Just like they're fighting my work to not get anywhere for the awakening that I'm trying to, to make my community to understand the consequences of what they're doing. And they're so evil that they promote the bad and they're fighting me for change, for making changes. And I pray that the karma of the young people and women that they're promoting to suffer more will hunt them for the rest of their life. Because no matter how much they promote that for the young people and women, they don't want that for themselves. Believe me or not, they actually want very good and peaceful life and successful life for themselves and their children if they have one. But they're happily going to promote any kind of pain and trauma and injustice for other innocent people, especially children and women. Doesn't matter if they are women or men, by the way. But as long as they know that when they're watching my page and don't like and support on purpose because they hate my God, but they're going to watch me by force and take my time and my energy and use it, but they will not send one single like or see as long as they know that I don't forgive them for my energy that they're collecting and keeping their energy away from me. As long as they know that they will have my karma and the karma of the children and women that I'm protecting. As long as they know that they can continue watching me and continue to report my page and continue to to um, to, to do their best for um, trying to destroy my work. Especially when they do videos and they do really horrible videos and I never report their page. Even though I see their videos are not good for the community or their videos are fake or their videos are uh, sending a message that is not good. I never report their videos. I never report their page. I don't easily report people. The only videos I report in this Askan is when people are swearing your, to your mother, you know, like Sananga Minde. And I don't even always do that. But if it's really bad, Sananga Minde video, your mom private part, this, those sick videos that Gambia and Senegal people do. If they're really bad, I can report it because nobody's mother is, deserve that. I don't care even if you hate me. Your mother don't deserve that. Apart from that, I don't report any, any, any video, no matter how bad it is. I don't. I just move away or, or unfollow the person or just move away from the video, you know, and watch something else. But if you guys following me, reporting my page, reporting my video, watching me and never support me, so my page will just not go anywhere. As long as you guys know that you, any of you that is doing that on purpose to diminish my work and to belittle my work and to destroy it, as long as you know that I will never, ever, ever forgive you the karma that you're receiving from me and the karma of the children and women that I'm trying to protect, as long as you know that I will never, ever, and they, they will never, ever forgive you, then you can continue doing that. And I continue doing my work. Even your father cannot stop me. Because your mother and yourself, your ass suffer from this Askan. Your mother suffer, your father suffer, your family and friends suffer. So, you know, well, that's why you're fighting my work. That's what you should be doing, even if I wasn't born in this Askan. If I wasn't born in this community, you, you were still supposed to do this. Your mother and father were supposed to do it. By now, we are developed and awake. By now, we're all not going to be traumatized and f up and running like a coward to another land. But, No. You rather promote the trauma, promote all kind of pain and trauma from FGM to underage marriage to SA to severe child beating to effing everything else, you know. Promote the self-hate and the consequence um, of the trauma that you're causing to children. The self-hate that is going to lead us, you promote that too. You promote the self-hate that the community is doing because um, the, so what they've been through which is why they can't love and protect themselves. You promote that too. You love it that the, the community don't love themselves and protect themselves the way they should, especially women. Because you feel like if the women love themselves, then you can't control them and you can't get away with what you're getting away with. So then you, you hate it when any woman is trying to talk about women to know their word and not to, to allow any nonsense. You get so angry and hate that message because 
you know that message doesn't favor you. And you have <clears throat> you also have women who who wonder who want to side with that. <clears throat> Just so they can be in their so called miserable marriage or get married to a bad ass person like yourself. Who is gonna be their enemy, making them cry every day? Because they're weak. They cannot be on their own and wait for the right man. <clears throat> or stay on their own for the rest of their life and reject the nonsense. They can't do that. Because you program them to be weak. You program them to be like, um, if they don't do if if they do that, they, nobody want them or they're not well or Allah don't like that or whatever. But you not look at Allah. So when you marry them, you'll be very good. You will not do that. You marry them and most likely you're gonna be cheating and lying and treating them bad. And you're not gonna look at Allah to change, but you're gonna tell them to look at Allah and take your nonsense. That's fine, that's on them. You can blackmail them. But then when you cannot black the other woman like me and she have a platform talking and you know that the other women are going to be weak and you're going to end up not having nobody to blackmail. Then you hate on me, gang up, reporting my page and your videos are worse than that and nobody's reporting them. Well, not me. I don't report people's videos. Even if I see video that is fake, is bad, I normally will talk. I can react to the video and talk and be like, why are you promoting this? You are insane, this and that. But I'm not going to sneak under it and report the video. I don't do that. I The videos I report over the years, oh my God, on this TikTok. Before TikTok, I've never reported video. But the videos I report over the years, I've been on TikTok for four years now. I don't report up to 10 videos this whole time. And they, they are like insulting videos, like when somebody saying your mother's private part, this, I'm effing your mother now. I'm cutting her vagina now. Those sick, uh, traumatized, hate women um, type of a video that Senegal and Gambia people do when they're angry. <clears throat> Doesn't matter man or woman, by the way, they all do it. <clears throat> the kind of things they will say to the person, a mother's uh, private part, be lie, one lie, tell lie. If you hear it, you, you will not even believe it. You will not even want to um, mingle with anybody from that society. You know how sick and traumatized this society is. And then you look how they're fighting me for fighting the cause of the trauma. They're all fighting me because I'm fighting for us to have a normal childhood that doesn't have childhood trauma. That's why they hate me. I'm fighting for uh, FGM to end, severe child beating to end, um, underage marriage or SA or any form of SA to end for men and women, for girls and boys. <clears throat> and for people to go to school and for us to know our value and our worth and protect ourselves from nonsense and keep fighting for the truth and stop the pygmy behavior, stop the wicked behavior just because you want the effing traumatized society to accept you. They can't even accept themselves. I don't think this one works. I think this one is dry. They can't even accept themselves and you want them to accept you. A lot of these people that are clapping for you when you agree with their nonsense, they hate themselves. But when you agree with their nonsense, they're clapping for you. And if you don't do that, they hate you more. Because they're like, how dare you? How dare you not like me? How dare you get to live your, the real you and choose the truth? which I should do, and I'm not brave enough to do it. How dare you? How dare you not doing that? You should be an adult and live the reality and live the truth. If you're too weak to do that, that's on you. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna do that because you don't do that. But as long as you guys know that, all of you that are following my page on purpose to report my page, to not support my page, to watch me and take my energy, while keeping your energy for me, from me on purpose. As long as all of you know that, all of you that does that, I never, ever, 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 ever forgive you one single energy of mine that you are taking by force, just because it's internet, and keeping your energy from me by force. Just because it's internet, you're like, I'll take your energy, I'll listen to your video, I'll watch it. I'll take your energy, but I will not give you back my energy. As long as all of you that do that know that I never, ever forgive you of my energy that you're taking. And that I'm going to take it back from you another way around, either you like it or not. You know, life works in, in wonders, you know. Sometimes you have something you want, or you want something and you won't get it. Or you have something you want and, and it's taken away from you and it's going to go to the other person. 
or you have something that, or you want something and you won't get it and it's going to go to the other person. All of that is karma. And especially the karma of the young people that you guys promoting in Africa to go through FGM, pain, and trauma, and just um, the women of the society to continue having bad marriages, pain, and trauma, and nobody's going to talk for them. Nobody's allowed to, to take themselves love and say no to nonsense. It's getting darker. And then you can't see me. And also, I can't tell whether I need a foundation or not. But I don't want to do foundation. I'm not going to do foundation. Yeah, the women of the society and the children of the society that you guys are fighting to make so that nobody's allowed to help them. You will not help them. You will not speak up for them. Nobody else will. Because anyone that's trying to do that, you will um, hate them, me or not. Especially if they're doing it on the internet. You will hate them, don't support them, report their page. Oh my God, my wig is flying up to China. Stay right here, sweetheart, darling. You're not allowed to move from here. As long as you guys know that someone like me, that you guys are, are doing that too, I never, ever, 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 ever forgive you guys. Not even one bit, especially some of you that I never report your page. I never report your video. No matter how bad your videos are, I don't report your video. Me, I mean, I'm not a coward who just hide and report. When I see a video that I don't like or I think is not good for the community, when I want to talk about it, I talk about it. I just click my life or I click my video and I'm like, why is this? Why are you supporting this? Or why is this? Or this is not good for the community. And that's it. I don't go hiding and reporting the page, uh, passing page or hiding and gossiping on WhatsApp about the person or just talking to people about the person so they can hate the person, ganging up on WhatsApp group to fight the person. I never ever do that since I start videos until now. Any video I see that I know is not good for my community, I will, when I'm addressing it, I will come up and address it. And I don't hide and report that video, not to mention the page. But you guys that are ganging up, calling each other, ganging up for me, coming to report my page, ganging up for me to not support my page. When you're watching me, it's like I'm, I'm in the grave and we're all in the grave and I'm doing life from the grave. Because all of you is watching me and you don't like, you don't see it, you don't support, you don't do nothing. On purpose, just so my work will not go anywhere so the community can continue having the pain and trauma and bad marriages and blackmail and self-doubt and self-hate that you program them to continue living. As long as you guys know that all of you that is doing that, I never, ever, 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 ever will forgive you for fighting my work. Knowing fully well that my work is what your father and your mother and the Askan was supposed to do before I was born, like I said. And I'll never stop telling you that. So, I'll tell you that every single time when I want to, because every single time TikTok is messaging me and the other platforms telling me how you guys are reporting my page, and every single time when I come, you, you're watching me and you never like, you never see her. You're watching me just to gossip. You're watching me just to bully me and laugh at me and call me names and call me. Nobody watch you. Kek, kek, kek. You're mad. Kek, kek, kek. And you are the one that is reporting my page, bullying my work, making so that nobody watch me. Uh, I don't think this hair is good. And then you're going to have the gut to continue bullying me, which you know I'm very strong. You know, how, how, no matter how much you bully me, I'll still do my videos because I know that the community is not well and they hate the message that I'm, I'm spreading because they're afraid of the change. They know the message is, is for the women to wake up, to not take the nonsense and cry and then get angry and beat their children and scream at their children who haven't done nothing to them. They know the message is for you to be good. You know the message is for you to be good or you cannot have a wife anymore. It's very clear. The message is for you to be good or you cannot have a wife anymore. Because nobody will allow you to marry them and be cheating and lying, be beating them, be angry at them, be horrible partner. And the woman will know how to stay by themselves, you or not, to wait for the right man from the two percent. You know that. And you know that doesn't favor you because you rather die than changing. Because you're, you're too used to eating your cake and have it. You're too used to having a wife and cheating and lying, beating her, Treating her anyhow you want and she's just sitting there cooking and crying like a five-year-old that you program her to be. You're too used to that. Even though you know that's not good for you. 
you're too used to that and you're too evil to change and change is not easy i know but you fighting my page reporting me watching my page and don't support it punishing me for that message that you know clearly that is the honest good message and if you are a woman you will want to have a man like that that, that like this type of man that i'm talking about man that don't cheat on you don't lie don't beat you don't not aggressive <clears throat> sponsor um sp support you you know and look after you especially muslim man as you claim to be but when you're a fake ass muslim a lot of you african muslims are fake ass muslim by the way especially gambia and senegal muslims especially the bad men the 80 percent especially this 50 percent even if they're praying five times a day they fake they're cheating lying making their wife cry making the, ch the children even cry or just uh half this particular child that they love more or choose the children to act to fight the mom by making the mom look like a bad bad woman that's another story <clears throat> so when they see the children they're nice to them and you know when they're with the mom or, or what they're doing to the mom why is it like that the children don't know and some of them money to make the mom look so bad in front of the children um, because the mom is going through pain and anger from when she's young, people beat her, torture her. She might even have some essay going on or FGM or whatever, pain and trauma. And now she have a man who's cheating and lying and not supporting her or just not supportive or just verbally abusive or miserable because he's traumatized himself. He was also beaten and tortured and trauma and come from strict crazy home as well, come from traumatized home as well. So don't know how to support a, a, a person, not to mention a traumatized person. So then, um, every, that, that struggle in Gambia is, all of this caused that struggle, by the way. I talk about current affairs in Gambia and situations. When I was in Gambia, I went up the ferry, that ferry that you guys are talking about. I went up the ferry on top to attack them, to question them why the ferry is not moving and the ferry have ambulance in it. Why are you going back to Barra to pick up some tourist people when you have ambulance in the ferry and you already left, left Barra and you're moving back to Barra to take this, this, this tourist people? What did a lot of you Gambians say? I'm, I'm rude and I'm dramatic and I'm looking for trouble and I should leave them to do their work. Why am I climbing up to talk? So why are you guys opening your ass now talking? Why you guys have your ass all over the place talking about the ferry doesn't work? Why? When I was there just end of last year, just four or five months ago, you know, in November, I climbed up the top where the ferry um, captain is. I went up to the ferry captain and questioned them why the ferry is not moving for over one hour, standing in the middle of the water, not moving at all. And why the ferry left Barra and going back to Barra to pick some tourist people that are standing waiting for them. When the ferry have ambulance, one ambulance that have two patients on it. Two patients. And I am so the Gambian from the village. Going to that one single tiny hospital that we have in Gambia called um, RVH, the capital's hospital. And that hospital is why I call it one single tiny hospital. That is not the hospital, they bullshit. That's our only hope. And that one is the worst hospital in the world as well. So they have that got to have one ambulance that have two patients on it and they already left Barra and they're going back to Barra to pick up about four or five tourists who is standing waiting for them to come back and pick them. And all the Gambia were talking and they don't care about them. But me, the moment I on my live video and I tell them, why are you going back to Barra to pick the, the, the tourist people? Are you mad? You're, you're on live. They turned the fear straight away because of me. Me, I mean, all of that, you guys are bullying and calling me mad, calling me, you always on the internet, you are depressed, you are this, you are that, bullying me. It's because of me. Ask everyone that was on that ferry. Everyone was clapping for me. It's because of me they turned back the ferry. And I was telling them that if you ever do this again, anyone that ever see you, they should record you and send it to me. If you ever have a, a ferry that already take off and you turn back to go back wherever you're going. And they nearly killed me doing that. They were pushing me to fall down and die when I went up. And you guys, you were bullying me worse than them. You guys, 1,400 or something like this, watching that live video. You guys were commenting, bullying me, calling me dramatic. Although some, some people really appreciate my work then. But a lot of you were calling me dramatic, bullying me. After that, you guys continue bullying me on the internet. It's, it's, I couldn't believe it. Keep telling me dramatic crazy, mad, why should I go up there to talk to them? I have no right. 
I'm opal. I'm too much. And now the fairy is not working. Your ass is boiling. You're telling me to talk about the fairy. You're telling me to talk about Gambia Quarter Affair. You're telling me this. You're telling me that. The same fairy that I was talking about that you're calling me dramatic and mad. Or what? What fairy you want me to talk about? So all of you that is fighting my work, you never have peace. And I'll never forgive you. And I'll tell you every single day. So you know exactly you're the one that is uh, collecting your own karma. All of you that I saw your hypocrite, fake ass, really horrible videos promoting FGM, promoting women suffering in their marriages, insulting and bullying women. People like Sorti Jame, for example, today I'm going to make a video for him when I finish this on my Army All of Pain. <clears throat> I saw one of the videos he made, one new video, um, garwaling and throwing shit at people like um, Jawara Diko and the rest of the women that have their tongue pierced and ears and stuff like this. Tongue and nose and stuff. And they're like dance taking their bomb. He's got a in them, throwing shit at them, bullying them. But you're not going to call that bullying. You're going to come to me and report my page for telling his ass that he's an ass old bitch. He's not a man. And he hates women. That's why he's promoting FGM. And he's a fucking piece of shit. You come reporting my page, page for that, bullying me for that, gang up with him to report my page, gang up with him to bull, bull, bully me, gang up with him to want to close my page. In your dream, your father cannot close my mouth. You only receive my karma. You saw him. He came today, make a video this or yesterday, this new video he made with the orange shirt. Talking about how the American women are good and that the European women, they have tongue piece and no space and they stake their bomb on the tiktok and that they hopeless ranchang and that blah blah to garwale to garwale people like jawara Diko that he interviewed recently and promoting using her to promote fgm when he hate her do you know it's my karma that's why he did the new video did you see that, see that video go and look at that video he used uh, uh, jawara Diko to make brand new fgm promotion video and then I react to that video. He get angry. All you fake ass people get angry. Like you always looking for what for way to get angry at me. And then today what he did, he make a video bullying Jawara Diko and the rest of the people like them. Calling them whores and bitches for dancing with um seeking bomb and having earpiece. Oh sorry, no space and earpiece. <laughs> sorry, not no space. I mean no space and tongue tongue piece. People that talk piece their tongue, you know. And do like the the why he's talking about that? He's a man. Why he's bullying women for that? Women that do that. Why he's talking about that? What his business with that? From nowhere, he's just bullying people that does that. Like you guys, American women, you guys are good. You're not bitches that have earpiece and tongue piece. No, not earpiece. You're not bitches that have your tongue piece and your nose piece and shaking your bum at TikTok. <laughs> Did you guys see that video? I was like, what the hell? So you hate women that do that. And two days ago, you were using Jawara Diko to promote FGM. And you are her enemy. <laughs> and when I was reacting to that video telling Jawara Diko, you are insane for promoting FGM. Jawara Diko and you guys were calling me haters. And from nowhere, he made that video. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I couldn't believe that video. It's my camera that make him do that video, you know. Did you guys see that video? He made that video for Jawara Diko and people like her who have pieces on their tongue and pieces on their nose and stuff like this. From nowhere, he made that video and who saved their bomb on the TikTok. From nowhere, he made that video bullying her. I'm like, yeah, beauty. <laughs> Be lie, well, lie, tell lie. I told you guys, anyone that is fighting my walk, you will never have peace and you're going to keep exposing your ass, either you like it or not. Look at how Sorti Jamme and the rest of the people like him, they're exposing their ass every day to show people how they hate women and children. Promoting FGM physically, bullying women and children all the time for no reason. Anyway, I have to go now, guys. I have to go. You know, I was just doing quick get ready with me. I'm going to keep my hair like this. I think it's cute like this. But yeah. I'm going to do some more video about that right now when I finish about Sorti Jamme's new video. But it's insane. <laughs> I saw it just now and I was like, oh my God. Look at this idiot again. Bullying uh, so, uh, the woman that he used. He used her. It's, it's, tell me if this is not karma. 
He interviewed her recently to promote FGM. I react to the video and him and the rest of the people attacking me, reporting my page, bullying me, calling me bully. Two days later, he make a video bullying her, telling her that people who have tongue pieces and nose pieces and say their bomb on TikTok and they're in Europe. They're useless, idiotic bitches and you American women are not like that. I was like, what the hell? And he's lying. Anyone can do that. Doesn't matter what country you are. But I don't know why he made that video. That video is just karma. Did you guys see that video? Sorty Jamesh new video. Go and see it. <laughs> I'll post it here. You guys will not even believe it. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good day. I'll see you guys again later. Bye. Take care. <laughs>